And now Executive Director, Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Emmanuel Owumbiko, joins me at the News at One for more on this. Good to have you join us. Thank you very much. So um, you have made a, a request from the National Assembly to uh, sort of override the president on, on this because you believe that this will impact tragically on our transition. But before, the presidency has responded. But before we get to the response of the presidency, let me s just start by asking you what sort of implication you think that the non-signing of the Electoral Act and insecurity will have on our, on our transition. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, um, the primary responsibility and the primary duty of government constitutionally is to create a situation in the polity where non-state actors will not constitute uh, danger to the survival of the citizenry. In other words, protection of lives and property of citizens is the number one job of Mr. President. And if Nigerians are not guaranteed right to life, and Nigerians are not so sure if they want to travel from point A to point B, that they are not going to be kidnapped or their lives will not be endangered, uh, it means that the government, uh, if Nigerians aren't, don't have that kind of assurance, it means that there is a dysfunctionality in the government. And if you have that kind of situation, it will not permit free, fair, peaceful, transparent, and accountable election. And we have just less than a year and a half to the most critical election in Nigeria's history, 2023. Mm. We are battling with a situation where you have insecurity and breakdown of law and order in a lot of places all across Nigeria, particularly in the northern region of this country. And the electoral system is deficient of a legislative tool that will permit for a mechanism for the political parties to nominate candidates that will validly stand for election that will take place in less than a year and a half. Mm. Uh, and and ju just to quickly come in there, uh, because we, we've seen firsthand yes. the impact that insecurity can have on our election. Um, but what is new is the issue of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill, which the presidency has now responded to. And the presidency is saying the reason why the president did not sign or didn't assent to that um, Electoral Act Amendment Bill is because that particular clause that, that only um, allows for direct primaries within parties um, will favor where they are parties. Does that assuage your concerns regarding the president's refusal to assent to uh, the, the, the president, The president doesn't have any valid uh, argument there because he himself came in through a direct primary. The president himself, the president wasn't, he's not a very rich man. So if he's saying a lot of Nigerians who want to run for elections don't have good enough money, how did he himself how did he buy his own, uh, his own form? People bought the form for him, as they told us. The APC told us that Nigerians contributed was over 1,000 naira. People were even paying. There was a publication that uh, Muhammad Buhari, the former president, uh, former head of state of this country, uh, authorized to be circulated in some newspapers. And some Nigerians, so those who were even selling recharge cards, were contributing money. I'm aware of that, if Nigerians forget so soon. So why is Mr. President the one? Mr. Umbiko, sorry, I, I just want to again jump in yes. just to understand the point of, of, the, of the president. He's saying that direct primaries, because direct primaries really ha have to do with uh, holding uh, primaries in all of the worlds and ensuring that the grassroots participate. Yes. But he's saying that the cost of exactly. holding direct primaries, on one hand, it allows for democracy within the parties, but he's also saying that the cost of holding these direct primaries will not work when it comes to um, smaller parties or parties who do not have as much money as the APC and the PDP. It's not true. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I'm saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. I'm saying that the president doesn't have that kind of... Uh, uh, he's, he's not a valid reason why he should do that. He's not going to run. He's not a candidate in that election. And a lot of members of the National Assembly 
that have the onus to pass a legislation for smooth, free, fair, transparent, and accountable elections have held public hearings. Nigerians were invited, they all attended, and they made uh, their own uh, inputs. And then at the end of the day, a, a compilation was made and a, a proposed law was passed by the two chambers of the National Assembly. The National Assembly, if we were really serious about the practical democracy, the National Assembly represents the entire constituents of Nigeria. So if Nigerians have not decided that this is the electoral act we want to use in the next election, why is Mr. President concerned about the smaller parties not having enough funds to uh, the, the smaller parties were they not invited to the public hearings that were held at the National Assembly? That's a question that everybody is asking. So why are you not signing mm. the Electoral Act so that at least let there be an act? Then you can now suggest suggest amendments. You don't take anything to amend uh, uh, amend a law. This thing has been in the uh, in the uh, uh, talking about the Electoral Act for more than two years, and mm. if you have less than a year and a half. And you say you're not going to sign this electoral act. And if you don't well, have electoral act signed on time for parties to begin to get ready, mm. it may jeopardize the election. That's what we're saying. What we're saying is well, that the argument I, of the I'm sure that there are people who, who, who also share your, your sentiment, Mr. Wumbiko, but whether the National Assembly will override the president, we'll find out when they resume plenary in, in um, 2022. Thank you so they much. They need to do that. They thank you so much for, um, I'm, I'm afraid we do have to leave it here. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for your sharing your thank thought you with know. us. Executive Director of Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Emmanuel Owenbiko.